Hello, welcome to another episode of Tom's TC and here we are at the Motorcycle Live NEC 2022. This is the Aerial Ace 1200, which uses the same motor that the VFR 1200 uses and puts out around 173 brake horsepower. I really prefer this look with the standard telescopic forks rather than the cantilevers. Definitely a bike on my dream bike list I think stunning bike this is the black edition so we're just at the Norton stand and the first thing you come across is this B4 CI it's absolutely stunning I think that you've got to hand it to Norton the differences in the engineering and everything else since it's been taken over have just made huge gains for his British bike manufacturer. I would give a lot for this bike. Absolutely stunning piece of art, this thing. And this is the frame. And just look at this, this looks not done in a factory, well in a factory, but handmade. It just looks so stunning and intricate. Amazing. So moving on from one piece of art to another piece of art, the V4SV. Uh, just beautiful bikes. I've not seen anything like this before. I've seen the pictures, but when you're in the flesh, it's like you're looking at just art. So this is a carbon one. Beautiful. Let's go and have a look at the 916s, or 961s, or whatever they're called. Yeah, well this, so this is the Commando 961 SP. Again, great looking bike. You've got Olin uh, front suspension, amazing parallel twin engine, beautiful twin rear Olin shocks. And then you've got this terrible box section rear swing arm. Really don't understand that. Otherwise, great looking bike. And apparently they've redesigned and rebuilt 300 parts on this bike to make it more reliable. Um, so good on them, that's exactly what it needed. But I can't go over that rear swing arm. You're paying for a premium model, I wouldn't expect that. Pretty cool looking police bike. You've only got to run away from him for about 50 miles though. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Tall person problems. It looks like a proper bike when you're on it. 
This is the Yamaha's Tracer 9 GT and me and my mate Paul instantly don't like that dashboard. Reminds me of the robot from Short Circuit. Yeah, thumbs down, thumbs down all round on that. Otherwise, pretty cool looking bike. <laughs> Oh look, it's got a sorry button. Sorry! <laughs> and here's Suzuki's latest V-Strom DE 1050. A proper entry into the adventure market. Really strong contender actually, I really like the look of this. <coughs> Exhaust is a little bit chunky and low down. But for the price margin, completely undercut in the competition. Great entry from Suzuki. Suzuki's Katana, 1000cc. I love the look of this bike. It's growing on it more, growing on me the more I see it. Especially like this matte blue effect. Right, I just want to tell you a little story about this company, Dot Motorcycles. Now, Dot is a name of old bikes, really old bikes. And 18 months ago, these guys actually started making their own bikes with the name Dot. They actually bought the name and they come up with these actually beautiful, stunning bikes. They are all based around the Kawasaki 650 and the frames and everything else are all hand built. So let's have a look at what they've got. So this is a Scrambler, a Dot Demon. Now if you look, look at that swinging arm. That is absolutely stunning. Now I know I was praising Norton earlier, but this is four guys who've got together and started up their own company. Now these are some of the older bikes, some of the uh, Dot members have lent to them. But these are going to be the new models, and I particularly like this one. This is a Street Fighter Warrior, and just look at it. Just look at that. The attention to detail and design is fantastic. Another British success story, and if these guys keep this up, you know, with everything going on, just stunning. Looks alright that, doesn't it? Yes, yeah, I like it. It's a BSA scrambler. It's nice to see another British manufacturer again, coming back onto the market. BSA. I've seen a few of these been uh, reviewed online and the response is pretty good obviously classic design with modern engineering right I'm gonna start over here with this one these are Langham motorcycles now this engine is a two-stroke it's a v-twin 90 degree and it sits in the bike like this with the carbs coming in at this side. This is manufactured in Italy, but the bike, Langham Motorcycles, is British. This is two-stroke. This is a two-stroke engine. I never thought I'd be saying that in 2022. It produces about 70 brake horsepower, and the bikes that they're in, these, are around 120 kilos. So that makes a quick bike. Now, two-stroke as well, you'd think it's gonna burn uh, dirty and everything else. You don't have to mix oil, you've got two tanks. You've got like the petrol tank and the two-stroke oil tank at the front. And what that does is using the ECU, it actually uh, controls the amount of oil going into the bike at certain revs, so it burns cleaner. Um, beautiful, absolute, I'm, I'm so astounded 
by all these British bikes coming out of the woodwork. This is just stunning. What a beautiful bike again. Stunning. So this is the Fruxton RS and it's a 1200 twin. Now, if you're gonna compare this to any bike, it would be the 961 Norton. Now, yeah, the Norton looks great, but look, and you know what I was talking about earlier, the swinging arm is a proper alloy swing arm. It looks right for the bike, not like on the Norton. Probably much better price tag as well. This is the world's fastest bobber, and this was made by four ton 100 motorcycles. And it's supercharged. Absolutely mental. Totally mental bike, completely street legal. I think. I think it puts out somewhere in the region of about 300 brake horsepower with that supercharger on it. Unreal. Hi guys, that's the end of the video. I hope you had a really good time watching it. It was a fantastic day out. I've learned so much about new manufacturers, especially in the UK, British manufacturers. If this is your first time watching my channel, please give me a thumbs up, give me a subscribe, comment below about what you thought was your best bike, and I'll see you next time. See ya.